Frog Detective, I don't really know anything about this game. I think I've seen like a little bit of it and it looked like kind of fun, so I thought I'd try it out. So you get like, I know it's split into like three games. So, <clears throat> we'll be doing case one. Dude, I love this music though. Okay. So I think options, I don't know if it applies to all of them, but I'm just gonna... That does, okay. Alright, let's play. I don't know what we're like trying to... Oh my, look at this distinguished gentleman right here. Oh, is that in first person? Oh, look at that. That's me. Dude. Dripped. He's dripped out. Gonna have that. Okay, I'll answer the phone. You know what? Time out. Okay, controls. I need to up that sensitivity a tiny bit more. That'll probably work. Hello, who is it? Dang, got a nose on him. It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? If your supervisor ever calls you, be prepared to be asked to come into work. Just saying. Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Wow. Ah, well. I'm gonna try to say this. Salamat Datang Kambali. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. Oh, it's a spooky one. <laughs> I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. It says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So, get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you. The second best. Oh, well. Larry the Lobster from Spongebob is in this game, I guess. Changing his ways from lifeguard. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know. Sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Woohoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who is hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. <laughs> Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because of the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. All right. So we have been tasked to do some ghost hunting. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Oh, yeah. We gonna be investigating stuff. Oh, look at that. Can I look at this picture? Like I'm really tall. Oh, 
What does that say? Fish food? That's cool. A little magnifying glass. Time to solve a mystery. <laughs> I like the way he walks, that's funny. Oh. cinematography in this game. How's he holding that? Ooh, spooky island. Also, how are you propelling, propelling the boat? How are you, like, going? You don't even have, like, a... Oh. Mark. Oh, th Larry. Is that Detective Larry? Mo the... M m I don't know. Bernie. <laughs> Fresh eggs. <laughs> what? And the rest. Oh. <laughs> I just like, we just have like normal names and there's Fresh X. What the heck? Dude, I'm going to start walking like that. I'm going to have a magnifying glass. I'm just going to walk like that. You know what? You know what I'm going to be for next Halloween? I'm going to be the frog detective. Just get back on my boat and leave. Oh. <laughs> this is fun, but I have to get back to work. I actually just got a trophy for trying to leave. That's funny. What the... Did you... Are you a ghost, secretly? What do you have in your hand? Looks like a... Like a shell or something? Alright, let's talk to... Hmm. Maybe a man in a suit. Oh, that's me. Not a man, though. Mystery monkey. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49 Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Oh, so leave out the 49 part. Of course, can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? Hmm, let's see. I'll just go from top to bottom. I don't think there's like a set way you have to answer or ask. The resident. I might ask who the resident of the island is. Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. I think the... I think... Excuse me. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm. Very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Where to start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay. Who should I talk to second? Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. I think mostly he wants to... I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. What would you like to know? Nothing right now. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. I'll see you around. Mystery monkey. Hey, it's Patrick. Where's SpongeBob at? So is this the same lobster who's like was supposed to be investigating? All right, we'll just talk to everybody. Hi, howdy. 
What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea, but it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghost in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you, it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Okay. Weird, specific dream, but... Why, though? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast, too. Nice. Right? I don't have any idea where to find one, though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? Any idea where I could find a magnet? I don't know why I'd ask you that if you'd probably go find out yourself, but... <clears throat> okay, yeah. Ah, oh, right. It sweetens the deal. I'll give you this big shell in return. Ooh. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Why would you think a shell is magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What, am I a scientist? I uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, the ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Two weeks? Are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Eh, maybe later. Anything else you need to know? I think that's good right now, wrinkly feet. I will not bother you any further. But, give me one second. I'm going to grab some pen and paper and take notes like a real detective would. I got some pen and paper, a little notebook, so I can keep track of mysteries around the island. All right, so we know Koala wants a magnet. We'll give Shell in return. Interesting. Interesting. All right. And let's talk to what is this? Uh I can't get any further down. <laughs> okay. So we got a random hole. A random hole, we might need something to get further down. I don't know if that's a thing, but we'll find out. Larry. Hi, it's me, Larry. Hell, I, I did not do it. What? 
the noises are not coming from me. I didn't, I, Larry, did not make those spooky noises. That's, like, more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just... I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing... Oh, you're not. That's such a relief. Can I... Are you going to ask me questions? Yeah, ask them. The questions, I mean. All right, well, Larry's already the top of my list of being a ghost, secretly. What can you tell me about the noises? Well, firstly, I am not the one making them. <laughs> okay. I'm going to write down Larry's prime number one suspect. If I know where they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? <clears throat> Let me write that down. Cave in forest. Noises. Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you don't, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean, I am really, I am a really great listener. Like, Larry does not like people finishing their sentences. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Okay. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, Okay, hold on. So you need toothpaste, wool, a chunk of gold, pure gold, and some pasta. I don't know how pasta is going to work with that. Maybe he's just hungry. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. Yep. If you want to get to that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Uh, explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need... Oh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. So we got the list for the explosives we need to get into. Oh, that's pasta. Can I have that? But it's not mine. Okay, well. Can I have your pasta, my good sir? You a bear? Bernie? Hey, you're the detective, right? The one that Monkey keeps going on about. That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? What's up with this hole? What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know. But 
It does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Okay. Random hole. Noises. Got that. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh huh. What else do you want to know? Um, secret agent, I guess. You mentioned you wanted to be a secret agent. Why? Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. <laughs> I'm not a secret agent. Sure, you're not. <laughs> the wink. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. So, I don't know if this means anything, but I'm going to write it down. Bernie wants a magnifying glass. He may even give us the pasta in return. I don't know. Uh, magnifying glass. Why did you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? Listen. Fine, fine, you're not a secret agent. Whatever. Nothing right now. Okay, so we found the pasta. The only thing is, I think it's Bernie's, and he probably wants some... Um, we call it a magnifying glass. The heck? Little, little bug. Oh, is this, um, Fresh X? What does he have with him? Like a candy bar? What does that say? I can't read it. <laughs> why are we... Why are we laying on the thing? Right beside him like that. Fresh X. Howdy. Hello. Are you the, uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment. Um... No. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, yes. Excuse me. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? D-Tech. That's funny. Take it away, D-Tech. Of all the questions, we're going to ask him about his clothes, huh? Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. Sorry, I had to get a drink. Uh, about taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Okay, you're... Okay, were you, like, hitting on this guy, or what? Your smile. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. <laughs> His face. Thank you, I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. Trademark, of course. <laughs> Dr. Tight Smeet Tight Smeet Tight Smiles 101 
tooth whitening cool paste for teeth. I get a shipment every three days. I go through this stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Could I have that tube by a chance? Uh, do, do you have teeth? Um, well, I could give you my tube, but I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Okay, so fresh X needs something in return for toothpaste. Very good. It's probably a good thing I'm keeping notes. I don't know if you really have to. Maybe, you know, you know just come across stuff as you go, but I like taking notes and stuff like that. Alright, see you later, Fresh X. Jesus. Alright. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby Doo. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Notes. Some hole noises need some. What does that say? Toma? Toes for soup. Who is ghost? I'm not qualified. Can we take this magnet? Ooh, I got a magnet. Oh, we can give it to uh, Koala. <clears throat> All right, let's go do that so we can get the shell. I don't know who we can give the shell to, but... All right, Mr. Koala. Let me mark this off my note list. I gave you your magnet. Are you a magnet? What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. <gasps> I got a shell. Shell, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's up in my inventory. You know, making ridiculous puns like that kind of fits this game. I don't know why. What the heck do you have? Is this like coconuts or something? Science line, don't go in. I'm very tempted, but I'll talk to him first. Noodle. Hey. How's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Oh, your wool. I, I didn't even think about that. Could I have some? Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting a cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Ah, uh, surely it's, that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. <laughs> Jeez. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. Huh? Are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. <laughs> wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. 
Okay, but if I wore a coat made of your slime... What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but it, slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who is very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've ever heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Uh, please. You'll need something to clean it with. Like a broom, or like... Fire. Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire, though. I might have asked more questions. Okay. This hole... Yeah, what's up with this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's... A hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. Not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghost in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes, but not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. I'm sure I can hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask some more questions? I uh, actually don't have any more. Alright. So, I'm gonna go in this hole. Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. Oh, nothing happened in there. So, we got like two holes now. I can I have some of your wool, or do I need a... So, he said I need a broom. Need broom for wool. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? The dude's face. Oh, I can hear the noises. So it looks like we need a bomb to get in there. What? What in the... Anybody else see that? What the heck? Who was that? Was that the ghost? What? <laughs> that was kind of spooky. Is he in there? Ew, that was weird. Oh, a broom. Can I have this? Oh, a broom. Oh, I got a broom. All right, now I just got to take it back. Let me mark that off my notes here. I guess some wool. Oh. What in the... Are oh, you just doing your exercises? Is that a snake? Okay, I got a broom. Got some wool now. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes. Amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Whew. Alright, got some wool. So... Cool. So we needed wool for the um, explosive. So we got that. Let me go back. Okay, so we have these three guys to talk to. like the jacket. Let me see if this dude's here. What? 
Who is that? Let's see if I can capture him. In the magnifying glass. Oh, he's gone. That he was creepy. What are you holding? Oh, magnifying glass. I need that. Alright, I'll talk to you first. Can you, like, sleep in your bed? <laughs> it's always good to take a rest. Indeed. All right. <laughs> what the heck is face? All right. Hello. Oh, it's Martin. Wow, who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine, I guess. Just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. Jeez, two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well... When I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to clear myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. So who's Finley? Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Oh, we got a couple for you. Uh, dance competition. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Simple. Who's Finley? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves were pretty amazing, not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she'll, she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete. What with this whole spooky situation going on? <sighs> Got questions for me? Yeah, about these noises. I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it, or read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen. And, get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. I got, oh, got questions for me? <laughs> I was gonna say something else. <clears throat> you seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too, because usually I love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. <laughs> the cyberweb.com. I like going on the cyberweb.com from time to time. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean, like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark. Just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. <laughs> my, <laughs> my head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. Ghosts are scary, but it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh, let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visualization exorc exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine you're on a beach, surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in, and then out. It's a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. 
There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But, but the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. The ghost is on the road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Ooh, pure gold. Nice. That's what we needed for the bomb. So now we just need toothpaste and pasta. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Um, I think that's it for now. <laughs> no problemo. I still want to find out who this person is. Who are you? I'll find out eventually. I wonder if he's causing the noises. All right. Magnifying exception here. What the heck? Ah, stop right there. Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells. From dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow! Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Just be careful. Gotcha. What's up with that cave, though? Uh, what? No, I'm not even sure it's a cave. This looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. It's a cave, for sure. Well, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. Okay. Really? Yeah. That's Cap. Fair enough. Ask me questions. Alright, your tiny shells. What's going on with that? Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha. You fool. Hey. Sorry. It's just that there's no... There's not... No, I have a shell. Just saying. Ooh, I can trade the shell for the magnifying glass and then give the magnifying glass to, um... Uh, Bernie. I think that's a fair trade. Hmm, ask me questions. Okay, I have this shell for you. Here you go. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. <laughs> I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want that shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells, but I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. Yes. Can I see this? Can I see the shells? Well, I probably can't see them because I'm not using her magnifying glass. Look how happy. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and give this magnifying glass to Bernie real quick, and then we'll talk to the mouse so we can get this pasta. 
Hey, Bernie. Yes, I have magnifying glass you're wanting. Interested? Are you kidding me? That's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything else I can do to repay you? Do you need help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Yeah, I will take that pasta. I actually need it. <laughs> if there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satis satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. Got some pasta. Alright. Gave Bernie the magnifying glass. Got the pasta for the bomb. Now we just need toothpaste for the bomb. Which we can get from Fresh X, but Fresh X needs something to put into his mouth other than the toothpaste. I'm kind of wondering if Mouse here has what we need. Mo. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many things, nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? Let me take a drink of water. Alright. Questions, yes. <clears throat> okay. Obviously, you're nervous. Why? Uh... Because of the detective thing I told you, um, I, I am afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you afraid of me? Fine, you wore me down. Dang, your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Mm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what else... I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I give you this mouse... Ooh! Mouthwash. Mouse wash. Good. Good one. Sure thing. I'll do my best. What's in that bottle? That's my mouth wa mouse wash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mr. Monkey likes the best. Okay. Alright, Mr. Monkey. What kind of dance do you like? I see your pores. dance styles hey so uh you um you like dancing and um dance styles 
I don't understand. Um, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, it, kind of. What, what type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, and what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, um, I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdance, wow, I would swoon. I'd even go far as to say, if I saw one, someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them all times forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Like, you wouldn't know. Alright. I got a monkey fact. Let's go. Alright, breakdancing. That's what we need. Alright, mouse, can you breakdance? Or, well, mo, excuse me. Dance styles. Well, I'll ask you about the ghost first, actually. Well, can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Uh, you didn't know that? Are you a ghost scientist? Oh, uh, ghost scientist, not toast scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know, uh, you know, because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep my eye out, though. Sure thing. All right. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh, did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Don't worry. Whew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Dude, can I see some sick moves? Okay, show me your moves. I want to see it. I want to see you do like a, a head spin. Oh! Hey. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Break it down. That was it. You gotta like troll on your head though. <laughs> okay. I think you need to come up with a couple more moves, but, I mean, good start. <laughs> Alright, let's go give this mouthwash to Fresh X, is this man's name. Just sitting there with his tube of toothpaste. <laughs> Take it away, D-Tech. Alright, here's your mouthwash. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, d -tech. Yeah. Now we have everything for the bomb. I gotta take it to Larry so he can make it for us. Alright, so let's see. We have the random holes with the noises. We don't know what's going on there yet. We just gave Fresh X the mouthwash for the toothpaste. So now we just gotta make the explosive and get into the cave. Alright. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You got everything. Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? 
Well, I don't think we can do anything else or speak to anybody else about anything, so sure. Let's do it. Nice. I'll come up with some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. Dude. That walk is so great. I love it. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up, Larry. Explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I, I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm going to start saying that. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Oh, gosh. Well, I got it open. In we go. So let's, let me mark that off my... list my notes here so really all we need to know now is those random holes what they're about oh this place is spooky is there a ghost in here um I hear music what Oh, this is that one lady. Okay. Are you the ghost? Oh, hi. <laughs> it's like I'm about to like fight or something. Who are you? Are, are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Mm, yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, but who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Uh, oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Um, geez, like two weeks, I guess. So they were hearing like her music or something. They thought it was ghosts. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? <laughs> nah, uh, just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps, and these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Um... I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sound super warped, too. So it might be coming out of the holes, maybe. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. T yeah, you could have died. Ha! <laughs> yeah, then I'd actually be a ghost. You know, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Uh, anyway, we <laughs> what? We anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. These awkward pauses between there. Their dialogue is funny. Martin. Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for two weeks. Well, two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But my ghost books, I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. It just goes to show, you should never trust books. <laughs> Always use the internet instead. Yeah, books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. <laughs> yep. Uh, who is this? Oh. Oh, this is like the, the creator. <laughs> what? Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are all contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's resources and to check the book is up to date. Internet can also be a useful place to find information. Well, I gotta take a drink. Make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. That was kind of rude. Gosh, okay. So the random holes is like the last thing on my list here, on my notes. So basically it was just, it was just like the noises or whatever from her radio. Books have no place in our society. Sure thing. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the use uselessness of books you're very welcome so just to be clear you were practicing for the competition this whole time yep I'm in it to win it I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves best dancer wins what else who else is competing Mm, that's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget about Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. Yeah, knows how to breakdance now, so watch out. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. Yeah. Before we dance, I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, Detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry, is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? <laughs> yeah, him. Well, I'll give you... I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go. We're gonna have a dance competition. Oh! Oh, okay. Hey. Look! Mo, Mo, in, the, Mo in the background is doing the break dancing. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, that's not Mo. That's Bernie back there breakdancing. Hey. 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 
Hey, hey, detective got some moves too. What the heck? <laughs> Frog detective's got some moves on him too. That's funny. I think it's safe to say we won the dance competition. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? <laughs> oh, shoot! Go, Larry! Oh, hey! 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 Alright, that's kind of weak. Oh, shoot! All right, mystery monkey. Okay, what is that? Come on. Fresh X. What in the world? Oh, here goes Mo. Got to do the head spin. Oh, come on, that was it. So this is like part one of this game, but yeah, it's pretty short, literally only took me like an hour. I think there's two more parts to it, but I think they're like different stories, I'm not sure yet. Oh, pick the winner. Oh, I can't pick myself. Let me see. Yeah, basically the game is you're a detective. Well, you're a frog who is a detective. And so in this first part, you had to go to this island and figure out... Um, like, there's, like, ghost noises coming from a cave. And you have to, like, investigate it. So it wasn't, like, anything crazy. But I think there's, like, two more parts. I don't know if they're intertwined or not, but... All right, I think I'm gonna go with... I think I'm gonna go with Martin. I think he had the best dance moves. Everybody else kind of sucked. Mystery Monkey was... I'm gonna go with Mystery Monkey. I think Mystery Monkey was pretty good. Bye. Oh, he's got, like, all the roses. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. I said earlier, I earlier in the game, I'm if I'm gonna do uh, Halloween next year, I'm gonna be the frog detective and walk like that and collect candy. Oh, so this is a little bit later, so we're back at our little little office here. I got like a nice magnifying glass. Oh, look. So this is the frog detective here. You know what? I never found out who that one guy was that was, like, ducking behind the rocks. Frog Detective, Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective, Supervisor, great work on the Haunted Island Mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah. Where did you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD. Dang, caught me in 4K. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. 
Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Most of the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Ooh. Another case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. Da -da -da. The detective will return in the case of the Invisible Wizard. I love the music in this game. 